In this video, you'll learn how to add the DX Sparkline widget from the Chart.js library onto a web page. I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries Chart.js, Globalize, and jQuery. I've also referenced the JavaScript file, where I'm going to set configuration options for the DX Sparkline widget. Like any widget from the Chart.js library, the DX Sparkline widget can be added using the jQuery, Knockout, or AngularJS approach. Here, I'm using the jQuery approach and adding the DX Sparkline widget using the DX Sparkline plugin. First, we need to set a data source for the Sparkline. I'll use a simple array of numeric values. I can run my example in a browser. Here is the Sparkline. As you can see, the first and last points are marked. Let's hide them and highlight the minimum and maximum values instead. And here they are. I'll also change the line color to light blue. And the minimum values marker color to green. Now let's try to change the series type. Here's what the area series type looks like. To try another series type, I'll add one more spark line to see the difference. I'll copy the settings and set the spline type. And here is the result. Let's change the type to spline area. Next, I'll add one more spark line to see what the step line and step area series types look like. Let's try the bar series type. As you can see, different colors are used for bars that represent positive and negative values. I'll set custom colors. Finally, I'll try the win-loss type for a sparkline series. Using this type, you can accentuate whether a particular data value is higher than a specified value, lower than, or equals it. Let's set a threshold and take a look at the result. Let's change the text displayed in the Sparklines tooltip. Like all Chart.js widgets, the Sparkline widget exposes tooltip options, within which the customized text option is always available. I'll use the values provided by the function's parameter and configure a tooltip text. And here it is. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.